and Tallman. Ranking students at Byron High School is about to be a thing of the past. The district's getting away from scoring students and with it, ending a graduation tradition. For the first time tonight, the school weighs in on that decision and 13 News reporter Richard Bodie has our story. Every year, the top performing students at Byron High School become valedictorian and salutatorian. It's a tradition that's ending in 2023. At times we were doing a disservice to our kids mm -hmm. and we certainly didn't want to perpetuate a system that at times would hold kids back from obtaining that next step. Byron School Superintendent says ranking students isn't best for students, saying it creates unhealthy competition and stress. Byron Counselor Amber Swanson agrees. It is never to the advantage of a student in the admissions process to have that rank provided when other schools do not. Barton says the school will provide class rank if a college needs it, but only on a case-by-case -case basis. And it's replicating the honors of valedictorian and salutatorian, opting for a Latin system like many colleges. But criticism on social media accused administrators of taking away competition that prepares kids for the real world. Hundreds of people commented on Facebook saying, quote, how is it fair to let athletes compete and be recognized for their talents, but not academics? Another person wrote, quote, this is ridiculous. What would be the motivation for getting good grades then? And this is really quite sad. Being a valedictorian is an honor and shows hard work and good work ethic. School board president Christine Lind disagrees with the criticism. Companies don't rank their, their employees 1 to 100. They, they rank them based on how well they perform doing their job. And while the school says some may criticize it for this decision, it's not backing down. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. Another school